All righty. Good morning, all. It's been a little while since we've uh, been here live on the interwebs with a stream. Uh, mostly because I haven't really been racing for the past couple of months. Been in a bit of a base period with good old coach Laverack, which has been fun. Let me just adjust the music a little bit. It may be a touch excitable. We're not even 8 o'clock in the Sunday morning yet, so yeah, let's shut it down to that. Let me know how levels are. Hopefully they are good. So yeah, we have a bit of a, a, an interesting one this morning. Um, it's one of my favourite days of the year. It's a Tour of Flanders. Uh, I think it's a great race for the spectators. It's one that I've wanted to do the Sportif for um, for the past three years. And for one reason or another, never quite got out there. Past two years, it's fairly clear. Why not? Um, I will do it one year and make a nice weekend of it because it's fantastic. Allegedly, you actually get um, almost as many fans for the Sports Eve on the Saturday as you do for the main event on the Sunday. Uh, and you can ride the full sort of 260 kilometer um, event on the Sports Eve. So one year, we'll definitely get out there. I did have a chat about doing it with some people going over in a camper van, um, effectively for the weekend with some Rafa team members. But uh, again, COVID came up and, and, and all that. So uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, so what I thought I would do is try to recreate um, the sort of effort that it's like. And I think effort is the key word there because we're simulating essentially a scale to FTP version of the ride. Um, also, we're only doing only the last four hours. The reason being that that fits with about what I wanted to do effort wise. Um, but also the first two and a half hours are relatively muted um, because that's essentially the run in from Antwerp to Odenard. And um, there's there's not a lot of intensity in that part of the ride. Uh, once you get to Odenard, you start doing the laps and you start going up the key cobble climbs and a few of the cobble segments, then that's where it starts to get interesting. So, so I modelled the last um, four hours. That effectively gives you about a five to six K flattish run in to Odenard, which I'm going to use as my warm up. Um, although there are a few little spikes where presumably, uh, you know, some little um, little rises and that had to be uh, taken into account. Hey, morning, John. Um, and then it starts to get into the climbs and stuff. Um, now, I wanted to be sub 250 TSS today. Um, if you do the last four hours as per the workout spec, it's 278 TSS in four hours. So I'm going to I've knocked down the intensity factor to 95 percent on the workout bias. Um, it may go lower than that as the workout goes on, depending on how I feel. Um, we have done 820 TSS in this build week thus far, uh, mainly because it's been a week off work, so I've had the opportunity to put a few more base miles in. Also, this comes effectively in the um, in the start of the first build phase, coming directly after a couple of months of base. So I've not really done anything super threshold um, in about 10 weeks. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how my body responds to the repeated punches of the uh, of the cobble climbs um, so we'll see how that goes we have plenty of hashtag vegan excuses up our sleeve even though we haven't really got sleeves on so let's see how we go with that morning Ruben hope you're well had my big old bowl of oats this morning at about quarter past six and I've got a decent amount of food uh, both in uh, in bar form and also in some beta fuel in the bottles um what I've tried to do, and I noticed some people have already said that they might be interested in trying to work out themselves at some point, is I've uh, put a big description down below of how I created it. It's based upon Oliver Narsen's 2018 Ronde van Vlaanderen uh, power file, and uh, he came 11th in that edition. So it's not like I have to necessarily worry about um, a winner's type effort, but if you look at it, it's still damn hard just to get round this thing in the top 50, that's for sure. Um, so I exported the uh, the straight up power file, put it into a spreadsheet. I then averaged the power, which was like one second power, into 30 second power bins, if you will, um, because Zwift won't really allow you to create pr proper um, intervals of less than 30 seconds if you use the editor anyway. Plus, that meant it wasn't like ridiculously spiky. It's still spiky, as you'll see from the profile, but it wasn't insanely spiky. Um, 
Then I actually uh, looked at the sort of Swift XML format that the, well, the sort of XML format that the .z, .zwo workout file comes in and just effectively um, created the relevant line for that 30-second segment. So four hours generates 480 30-second segments. Um, I then went through and married up the time to the various climbs and tried to put a text events in the workout, roughly indicating when the, the next climb starts. Um, so that gives you some information about where we are in the workout. And then finally, I also put about a dozen um, text events in there to indicate when it's a little bit, and it is only a little bit, of a lull period in between climbs where it might be an idea to fuel up. Um, this is as much of a reminder to me as to anyone else doing the workout. Um, and it's more of a chance to say you might be able to get some solid food in here as opposed to just sipping on some, some carbs in your drink. So that's the plan. Uh, some thoughts have certainly uh, gone into it. Yeah, Josh, uh, 30 second segments. What I basically have to tell myself to do is not count the segments down because I will indeed lose the plot. Um, a lot of them are going to be, you know, not too much difference in power. Um, but I wanted to, when I first did it, I averaged it into about like two and a half minute bins and that's okay, but you lose a bit of the intensity of it because a lot of these cobble climbs, you might go like sweet spot for two minutes and then you'll go like zone six for 30 seconds as it gets to a really steep bit. So if you actually just put it into like say two and a half minute bins, you end up with just like a kind of threshold effort for two and a half minutes, which isn't really give the essence i don't think nor does it actually generate the tss of um of the spiky and punchiness of the effort so 30 second bins was was about right when i actually looked the last four hours for oliver nason it was 281 tss and my 30 second interval segment workout is four hours at 278 tss so it, it does pretty well model the uh the intensity of the efforts anyway so um so yeah, that's about all I've got really, guys. Um, I have no idea how far through we're going to get. We're starting off, like I say, on 95% intensity. That may well get knocked down as we go. Um, I had a good three and a quarter hour workout yesterday, mostly uh, sweet spot and tempo. Um, and we're going to do it in erg mode, but we'll see how that goes. We may have to turn it off if our legs just start saying no when we're asked to do above 400 watts in the fourth hour reasonable assumption there so let's see how we go let's have some fun with it and i appreciate you being here early on uh, on easter sunday morning and happy easter to you all if that is something you uh, you celebrate for me it's just tour of land this day right i mean who knows this workout might be so intense that's the last you hear me speak until midday <laughs> so let's see right let's get into it Okay, there is our scene. If we're doing it in France, uh, France is obviously not a million miles away from where they're racing today. It also had a few cobbled sections, so, uh, you know, that's kind of fun. There's a few little assets there on the screen you can see. Let me just tweak that a little bit. There we go. Just to get that in the right place. Uh, so again, uh, who we're riding next to and what the map says are largely academic. So I've just included the climbs as listed there and then the profile. Uh, we're effectively starting, it's quite hard to see on the screen, but we're starting around that first feed point, which is the first sort of blue marker about 100k in. So that little bit before the first climb of the Eau de Quermont. We climbed the Eau de Quermont three times um, and that's probably the sort of the, the, the longest continuous effort really so uh, so yeah we'll uh, we'll see how that goes um, but yeah do let me know if that's that's coming out okay on the screen um, and we'll go from there. I just want to check that my chat is actually up and working so if anyone can post a message that would be great and then we'll get cracking. Hoping my heart rate monitor continues to work today because uh, it has been 
flaky as hell recently. Not due to battery or anything else, I hasten to add. Yeah, someone can just post. Laura, can you just post a message in chat or something? Just so I can see if it's on the screen. Hey, Rash, I hope you will. Didn't see that message coming. We should be on um, ultra low latency, so if someone does post. Looks good, Laura says. I see it on YouTube. How long before it comes on the screen? Not seeing that come on screen. Which is not good because I need to see that. This is ridiculous, Phil. It's a little bit day, isn't it? Right. Why is the chat not coming on screen? Uh, oh, is Restream Chat turned off? Because I've got the alert box on instead. There we go. That should be good. It was turned off for some reason. Cool. Right. I'm happy enough that's working. Yeah, good luck with that, Josh. Right, here we go. A little bit of a warm up as we get in towards Odenarge, and then we go. <laughs> oh, see how the legs feel after yesterday. Hey, only wind up hills. How are you doing? It certainly should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, David. It was. Um, it didn't take too long, but it was surprising how how the time built up. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll see what sort of effort we can give it. Hey, 130 second interval down. 479 to go. Yeah, I'm on Erg, yep. But it's not got power smoothing turned on. Yeah, that's cool, uh, ride up hills. RGT, I was obviously pretty good for proper simulations. This is me just uh, having a bit of fun with it. And we've got a little uh, tempo spike coming up. It's quite funny, actually. I think there was uh, one segment where he was obviously freewheeling down the descent coming up and then pedal for the last second or so. So I think there's genuinely... A 30 second segment of five watts later. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Josh. I'm thinking it should be uh, quite engaging because the power is changing in uh, such a fast way, you know. How are you going to watch the race and do the workout? Well, the workout should finish around midday. And again, I'm not that interested in the first couple of hours of the race anyway because that's the lead in from. Antwerp to Odenard, so 
by the time that I get off, shower up, get some food, they'll probably be approaching the interesting part with a few hours to go. Yeah, yeah. I think you're somewhat right, David. I think there'll be certain parts of it that feel slow, <laughs> but yeah. How are you doing, mate, David? I've seen you done some uh, really good workouts yourself lately. Looking very strong in a moment. So yeah, pretty much cruising in the blob, approaching Odenard. You smashed, yeah. Yeah. And I'll take some rest, that's where you make the gains. And I'll be doing that for the rest of today and all of tomorrow, that's for sure. Get back on the bike on Tuesday after today, I think. Thanks for the ride-ons, guys. Ah, uh, okay, David, yeah. Zero starts next week, yeah, crazy. Hey, it's Obin. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I always find these like tour events to be just a bit crazy because obviously for the bulk of the population they are literally events to group ride on but a lot of people treat them as races certainly. Being a bit of a master's athlete and uh, a bit of a diesel, it's uh, interesting to note that my legs take longer to warm up these days. On the flip side though, I'm generally pretty good in third and fourth hours, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know Josh and Dave, everyone seems to race them. That feels spinny, <laughs> 100 watts. Enjoy this first 10 minutes or so. Won't get a breather like that again. So how's everyone else watching the race today? Are they uh, GCM Plus, Eurosport, something else? Normally on like a terrestrial TV if you're on uh, if you're in Belgium, right? Oh, it's very good, very good, David. Now I think my best was my last FTP test, which is now going back almost six months to do a proper test which was Tempest Fusion time trial where I did 5.2 for 20. That was like 338 watts at 65 kilos. That was a while ago though. Oh really okay. I've got a little uh, 
30 second sweet spot surge coming up here. Yeah, FTP is set to 321 for reference. Which my current weight of actually just below 65 kilos is really close to five lots of kilo. <laughs> no, no, right up hills. This is modeled on the 2018 version anyway. Oh, nice diving, well done. Awesome. First chance for the heart rate to get out of touch. <laughs> yeah. It's just a number. And it's a number that fluctuates day by day. Often they buy a lot. Probably uh, approaching the feed zone where it drops down to uh, 60 watts. I think twice in the ride he actually does stop entirely. So, yeah, uh, for feeding and whatnot, or a pee, I'm sure. All right, David, have a nice ride, mate. Chilly out there today, wrap up. Oh, nice, Josh. <laughs> now, I've got a, uh, a bottle of left for later on with the, uh, the tour. I um, really don't drink a lot. You know, we're talking about a couple of beers every few months at the moment, especially during lockdown. Um, but uh, we're making some homemade vegan burgers and uh, soup tater fries. And we're going to have those with a bottle left whilst watching this afternoon. Yeah, that'd be good timing. Probably similar time scale to me, to be honest. I don't think we're a million miles away from the Oda Malt for the first ascent now. I wonder if this little surge coming up is when he stopped for a pee and got back on. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, good, Josh. I mean, keeping good uh, maintenance weight is good. I've increased my calories significantly in the past six weeks on a recommendation. Um, and yet my weight has been very stable really focusing on fueling the efforts like today i had 750 calories this morning in terms of protein oats and i have alongside me 800 calories worth of liquid carbs and 
over a thousand calories of solid food. So that means that by the end of the ride, I should have consumed nearly two and a half thousand calories total, including breakfast. But the ride will likely burn about 3,000, so. Yeah, the key is, I think, fueling the efforts and keeping that food um, separate from your regular meals and your health food. I eat a very healthy um, diet, um, plant-based, and I have a lot of high-volume foods, so obviously um, high nutrient density, but low calorie density food, and fruit and vegetables. But I have to make sure, therefore, on the rides that I'm getting in enough of the complex carbs to actually fuel things, which is a big focus. Yeah, exactly, Toby. I mean, you know, if you're doing that bigger workload, then you almost don't even think about it. And, the only reason I think about my calories these days is not because I'm trying to cut far from it. It's making sure I'm getting enough with the workload that I do, typically. <laughs> Ergmo can't quite keep up with that high cadence. I do find that sometimes. You get above about 105 RPM and it's like, oh, can't adjust. <laughs> I failed two stars there <laughs> at 100 watts. Good effort. <laughs> Erg mode failing me. <laughs> to be fair, I would probably fail it even without Erg mode at 60 watts. Hey, George. Uh, do a lot of uh, tempo and sweet spot at the moment, yeah because I've just come out of a base and we're in the first build phase. So the first build phase has been focusing on a lot of that uh, aerobic conditioning. Um, this week has been a week off work. So um, I've literally been riding and recovering. So that's how I manage that in general. I also work four days a week, so I can have three, in general, I can have three solid training days a week or I take on more volume doing it in the morning making sure I fully recover in the afternoons um, our second build phase starts in a couple of weeks where we'll be adding in a bit more super threshold work all right Josh but yeah I'm the events I'm targeting are sort of six hour events on the road so I need a bit of volume Oh, sorry, Josh. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. My first little leg opener. Almost at the end of the fun little lead here. Okay, Josh.
<laughs> yeah, exactly, Toby. I mean, it's all about specificity, isn't it? My first, well, hopefully, my first event of the year is going to be the Struggle Dales on the third Sunday of May, which is uh, 108 miles and uh, I think almost 10,000 feet of climbing. But a lot of the tough climbs come at the back end of the event. So that's why you'll notice if you are looking at the stuff I'm doing, um, we're back loading a lot of the intervals after a decent amount of zone two. Kind of simulate that. Are you vegan that you don't wear leather or? Um, yeah, as much as possible, I try to live that sustainable plant-based lifestyle. I'm not saying that everything I do in my life ticks that box exactly. I'll say 1,000 feet in meters, uh, over 3,000. Three and a half, maybe. So yeah, if you want it in metric, I think it's like 178 kilometers and about three and a half thousand meters. I was hoping to do the uh, Hope Route Dolomites five day event at the end of May, uh, sorry, end of August, but I can't see uh, foreign travel happening, possibly even this year, so that's unlikely. Yeah, exactly, Toby, and that's not easy, obviously. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Josh, yeah. But if you're trying to race it and uh, do your best effort, that's quite different to just doing it as a regular long ride, isn't it? Hey, Lewis, how you doing? Yeah, it's been a little while. We've not really been racing, just been base training, so a little less stream time, that's for sure. I've been good though, how are you? Oh yeah, Lewis. And Sophie will assume. I think we're approaching the Eau de Quermont climb now. That yellow segment. Should get a message though. Yeah, nice Lewis. Enjoy the chill. Yeah, I imagine so, Toby, yeah. Might see how 390 feels seated on this one. Simulate a little cobbled one. See how warmed up the legs are. May or may not be a good idea. Oh, nice, Josh.
Well, 24 minutes in, and hill one approaches. There we go. Spot the typo, I seem to have put two A's in it. First time up the Oda Kawamot. This one's just probably fighting for position on the lead-in to the climb, as you often get. <laughs> yeah, I think there's plenty of intensity already hills without me adding more. They come thick and fast after this. Oh, great. Good timing. First line. naturally they're not smashing the earlier climbs they get hard as we go along That's all right, Greg, yep. Might get a bit bored otherwise, changing gears every 30 seconds. Thank you. 
Well, the first half hour was done. The easiest half hour. Alright, spin out of it. Oh, well done, Greg, that's good. Nice to see those gains. Slow and steady wins the race. Free to go, and we drop down. Below 400 in tools to go. Yeah, sorry, I can't ride at 45 watts, even in hook mode. <laughs> that is no easy task. A few ride ons for those I've received. Already approaching Kortakir soon. Now I'm coached by Ed Laparak, Craig. This is not a workout for Ed Laparak, though. This is just me doing something for a race I enjoy to uh, top off the second build week of three. So this is definitely a non-coached session. But the other three workouts you'll see on Zwift this week are ones from Coach. And I'll be doing the Struggle Dales with Coach Laverack, as well as Phil Lovett by Race Me Without Mercy, and some others. Should be fun.
Yeah. Good stuff, Laura. <laughs> Who's winning today? Tough call, Ruben. I made this myself. If you look at the description down below the video, Greg, there's full details and a link to the workout. I think there's a good number of candidates, Ruben, beyond the obvious picks. We'll see. Who's your pick, Ruben? What's your heart say versus what your brain says? I'm a pick. Who would you like to win? But who do you think will? That's good, yeah? Good shout indeed. Got the form clearly. Hey Jason, how you doing mate? Good to see you. Hope you're well. So you've been smashing out some good numbers lately too? Seems like everyone's posting in their channel with new numbers every day. Not me. <laughs> Not the sort of period I'm in. I technically set my second best hour and a half power yesterday. Not that it was trying, it was just the way the intervals shook down. <laughs> you know, it's a sweet spot for half hour into high tempo for an hour. And I think it averaged 280 for 90 minutes, but it came after an hour and a half of zone two. And it was technically my second best hour and a half hour on Zwift, for what it's worth. Just behind a uh, big foothills race, I believe, by a few watts. Which is about that length, but a lot more spiky, obviously. 20 watts. Yeah, that's gonna be a fa that's gonna be a failed star. <laughs> Come on, try hard. 20 watts. <laughs> oh, 56. Uh, no, we're not gonna hit 20 watts, are we? <laughs> 20 watts into 300 next. <laughs> Yeah, that's no star. <laughs> oh, changed two gears there, got a bit spiky. <laughs> my uh, headwind is attached to my heart rate monitor, so that's going to have a fun day today. <laughs> Revving up and going down as these intervals kick in. Oh, nice, Jason. That's cool. Yeah, it's been uh, been pretty good, isn't it? I was fortunate enough to have a fairly decent ride out on Wednesday. Nipped over the Sheffield 
met my dad for a takeaway lunch, which we've not done for 18 months. That was lovely. And it was like 21 Celsius. Beautiful. Just uh, up to Glossop first and over home Moss. And then uh, descended to home Firth, out of home Firth through Penniston, down to Sheffield. Sheffield, climb out, ringing glow, descending to Hathersage, get to Edale, climb up Mamnick, and then descend down Mamtor and back home. About 135k, about 2200 meters. Lovely day. It was a fairly chill ride as much as possible. I say as much as possible because there were climbs there where you had to be doing sweet spot because they hit like 18% at points, but average power was like 185. Normalized was about 210, I think. For five hours. Nice. All right, probably getting close to taking on my first bit of solid food. Much as I'm not hungry, topping up is going to be important early on so you don't get behind. Even though I have been sipping on some carbs too. Let's get over this little segment. I haven't seen many messages pop up after my Ode Quirmont notification. I'm quite sure if they fail for some reason, we'll see in a bit. There's a bit of a gap between the other Quema and the Corsica and Edel there. Let's see. I don't know, worries, Craig. Cheers. Yeah, absolutely, Jason. It was nice just to actually purchase some food and a drink outside. Sounds silly, but, uh, you know, everything I've consumed in the past God knows how many months has been by my own hand or Laura's. Oh, here we go. Approaching that climb, yeah, little one. Um, so it's nice just to go there and say, oh look, there's food, and someone else made it for me. <laughs> Even if it wasn't a takeaway, cardboard box, I'll take it. Thanks, Keith. All right, so messages are working, that's good. It's a bit of a gap between hill one and two. So these little 30 seconds don't seem like much at the time, but I absolutely guarantee you in the second half of the ride, you'll know you've done them. Cheers, Jason. Oh yeah, Craig, yeah. yeah I'm just in uh, about three miles south of Stockport in Hazel Grove. So I often cycle south, get towards Stoke some days. Was anyone surrounded by Easter confection this morning? <laughs> More likely those were kids, I guess.
Take a chance to refuel here. Thank you. Indicating we've got a little lull. First naked bar, I think. Peanut delight. Hey Tommy, what do you mean? Oh, nice Craig. Cat and Phil is very close to me. Do that a lot. Good place for an FTB test. Yeah. Make sure you beat my time, Craig. On Strava. Not that I've uh, done it full beans since about a year ago, but. Excuse my chewing, Japs. It's necessary. Next climb coming up is Edler. As you can see at the bottom of the intervals. So yeah, I just thought it was worthwhile putting in some little messages where we had a bit of a lull just to remind myself and all people doing it that uh, fueling is going to be a big deal and uh, certainly if you're going to try and take on solid food, you want a few minutes to get through it, right? And wash it down. I thought that would be handy. So about a two and a half minute climb, the other level look of it. Hey Creed. Thanks mate. Hope you're well. You might have Wout von Art power. Learning some Dutch. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ray. Indeed. It is Tour of Flanders Day. I'm excited for it later. Yeah, I don't think we get long between the Edel there in the Wolfenberg by the look of it. Yeah, doing well, mate, so far. <laughs> Ask me again in two hours.
these long sessions be them on drift or on the road. I think uh, they're really good to not just simulate the legs and uh, heart rate effort, but simulate the sort of fueling you might need to do, which is the third leg of the tripod, I suppose. Cheers, Neil. <laughs> Making sure I uh, sip water after the carb drink and chew some gum so that uh, I don't rot my teeth too much. <laughs> nice, Ray. I do like a bit of geeking out myself. I did enjoy putting this together. More so than they probably would enjoy riding it, to be honest. Yeah, that's right, Greg, yeah. Ah, cheers, Ray. No worries, Ray. Haven't been live much lately. Not really racing for a couple of months, just in the base period. Yeah, all good. Try and support when I can. Yeah, my uh, desire for cooking went through the roof when I became plant-based a few years ago. Mainly out of necessity to use similar ingredients on a day-by-day -day basis, but make it different and flavorful. Really enjoy it. Both Laura and I really enjoy it. Something we actually do a lot more together than we ever used to, which is fantastic. It's very easy in this busy modern life. It's not as you spend that much time with your partner. When you're both busy people, different hobbies. So that's always a nice thing to do. Although days like today, Laura takes the reins and is preparing some Satan 
burgers with bacon, vegan cheese, sweet potato wedges, and a nice big salad, which we're going to enjoy while we're talking to bros later. All right, Edelberg done. Oh yeah, of course all right. <laughs> if we have dessert, it would likely be something light, I think. I enjoy my fruit salads. <coughs> that may be the way to go. <laughs> Won't need much after that, at least. Well, heart rate recovery thus far looks good. It's nice. A little bit more red coming up. I think that'll be the Wolfenberg. Almost the first day and we're done. Nice to tick that off. Obviously the lowest intensity of the four hours, but Journey starts with a single step and all that. Hey Mick, how you doing mate? Happy Tour of Flanders Day. Hope you're well. Congrats on your recent performances, smashing it around. Very good stuff. Always nice to see community members hitting their targets. Really good. All right, approaching Wolfenberg, Hill 4. <clears throat> there you go, hack. You make that sprint. You do it, son. Hey, no worries, Valdo. All good. I'm looking to... Uh, do some more as time goes on. So now I've kind of got the uh, process down. We'll definitely do that. Uh, okay, Mick. Well, hopefully you can catch some of it. It's always a fun day. I'm still a bit about the saddle here. We've been sat down for an hour. Not something you necessarily do on the cobbles, but come on, Erg. Erg. Come on, Ergmo, what are you doing? Hello. There you go. <laughs> Took a sweet time, didn't it? <laughs> Making up for it now by going over the power. I try and use the gears to get the cadence right so that it uh, kicks in quickly, but I was actually a bit out of gears on that first segment. That's better. Ish. Cheers, Zico. 
excited. Some everything is going on. T Cone Stew in the community. Good chaps. Not sure I'd do that. We tour of France, we watch it. Kudos. So Leyburg next. There's a couple of sections that uh, actually aren't hills, but they're uh, little cobbled sectors, which I think I noted in this X file. Because they obviously require a bit more effort. Hoping that these uh, tempo segments will allow some good recovery due to the amount of time I've spent in that zone of late in the associated conditioning. We'll see how that goes as time carries on. I'm recovering a tempo is a pretty powerful tool for racing. spin the legs out on the low power segments as much as possible as they'll probably be required to grind more and more as we get later in the day. Give some kudos to those guys we ever think today. Nice work indeed. Alright, approaching next climb by the look of it. Normally got a message in the preceding interval when the climb is coming or an important segment. Not on this one though, so perhaps not a named climb. But one I just missed.
even after an hour, you start to feel the glutes warming to the task. It's the continue repeats. <laughs> That's good stuff, Ed. Hey, Ryan. How you doing, mate? <laughs> yeah, the thing is that I've kind of I've bought everything that I need, you know. I've 
got the fastest bikes for each type of parkour. So <laughs> I'm waiting for the day where they bring out a, a massive wrapper gold chain for 25 million drops and you hang around your neck. <laughs> Yeah, good, Ryan. Get all the bling head, you know? That little leg stinger coming up. Good complies. Yeah, probably not on bills. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice, Laura, wouldn't it? Oh, that stung the quads a bit. <laughs> we got you the canyon uh, bike though, Laura. That's all you need for a while. And some nice zip wheels. So you're doing all right. You don't need much else for a while. Yeah, that'd be good, Mick. Can you imagine? With my mediocre sprint, not only trying to win a sprint, but also trying to hit a pose at the end. <laughs> I would fall off a stationary trainer. <laughs> yeah, the arms folding, maybe. <laughs> I'd have more chance of physically doing that in reality than I would hitting a button. Although, thankfully, I'm not quite as lacking in that department is Mr. Lovett, who does like to hold on to a power up for an entire race. <laughs> um. Maybe you should get more drops if you actively hold and don't use a power up. Then Mr. Lovett will be king of the bling. Well, an hour and a quarter survived. It's a start. <laughs> nice uphills, yeah. Yeah, I think so, Mick. Be something, wouldn't it? I do like the idea of some. Uh, yeah, poses that could be purchased, though. That's a nice idea. Go on, hit that 65 volts. Yeah. Beast mode. 
It's harder than some of the red segments. <laughs> Holding this belt. <laughs> it's a fun challenge. As the headwind just goes, nope, you turned off, you're not doing any more work. <laughs> Your heart rate's too low. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good, Mick. <laughs> yeah, do like a drag racing skid around a hairpin. <laughs> Approaching Bellandries. Probably not, no. Too many uh, cold days in the UK winter that I did base miles on Zwift. <laughs> and I spent the reasonable amount, just not recently. Hill six. Thanks, Alan. I haven't, Mick. I was saying at the start, I've I've been signed up for the Tour of Flanders Sporty for the past three years, and not been able to get out there for. Some obvious and some less obvious reasons. It will happen though. Yeah, I heard that, Mick. Yeah. It's alright, you can buy yourself a cobbled carpet, lay it down there. Oh, just in case we hadn't got enough tempo and sweet spot head. <laughs> just tacking a bit more on. At least in the first half. It's a bit more bread later. A oh, little break before 10 boss, I believe. Let's go for some little biscuits. Once again, guys, apologies for the chewing on mic. <laughs> the necessity today. Oh, they're nice.
So what are you up to uh, at the moment, Ed? No, you're dipping in and out, are you? Busy today, you're gonna get a chance to watch them off Landers. Yeah, that's what I reckon, Laura. That was my guess. <laughs> Easter Eds. And suddenly with that, there's only 300 intervals below the line now. <laughs> As you approach the Molenberg. Not one listed on the uh, other side. I did get these from the Strava, so... I think most of them sync up, but not all of them. Some may be called slightly different things. I'm not quite at the Muir van Hellersbergen yet. Do some of these out the cell just to give the uh, backside a rest, you know. As well as engage the quads a bit more.
the uh, refueling, like I say, is you gain a lot of respect for what these guys do on these rides and how important the refueling is and how they have to time it. You know, you see it on the, on the race this afternoon, you know, they're just smashing in gels whenever they get the chance, really. Because obviously I'm, I've got the luxury of timing it around some climbs, but they don't know where it's actually going to go. So I guess sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get unlucky. Don't know what the etiquette is around that. See someone popping the gel when you attack. <laughs> Didn't seem quite right. All right, that's one beta fuel then. Hour and a half down. Just trying to be very proactive getting the carbs in early. Not for what I need now, but what I'm going to need. Longer climb of the Herausbergen coming up. Mostly sweet spot with reasonable number of digs. No steeper sections. Ah, oh, 10 boss first, yeah. Then the muir, that's right. A little one of 10 boss. Hour and a half in, and legs certainly no work has been done. Longest continuous segment now. Yeah, Pannigberg. I think that was. I'm not sure if that is just before Hellersberg or not. Again, I've got some of the names different because they're named a bit differently on Strava, but. Uh, we can see what's coming up. Get a second, or there's a couple of bottles you can square away if you don't mind. Thank you. Uh, pretty much toughest segment yet coming up. No, I'm okay for now. First chance to really dig it.
Yeah, looms. <laughs> There's a lot of red coming up. Okay. <laughs> hey, Augustus. Yeah, I thought I'd pick this because it's closest to Belgium and it does have some cobble seconds. All right, strong three minute effort coming up. Uh, it's coming, Augustus. They put it on hold in the game for a bit, but it is coming. They delayed it behind some other features. Hey, Agnes, hope you're well. Yeah.
was the mule and how it's bugging. Thanks, Agnes. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. How are you doing today, Agnes? What are your plans? Now, yeah, speak again. Oh, nice, I guess. That is my normal jam on a Sunday morning. Normally join the uh, 7 a.m. Evo ride, 160k. Nice way to get Sunday started when it's not outdoor weather anyway.
Macintosh. Believe that to be a cobbled but flatter segment. Ah, right. <laughs> no, that's not good, Agnes. Gotta, gotta keep it in check. It's good to overreach sometimes, but be careful of overtraining. It's easy to do. I've been uh, overreaching a little this week. I've had a week off work, so it has been not too much more than my plan, but just a little bit. But I've had the benefit of really good recovery potential with like proper legs up all the afternoon and stuff, you know. <sighs> oh, oh no, not a dropout. Come on. Come on, Swift. Don't need this. Hello. Now. Really? He's just dead. Bike's okay. This is all Swift. I'll keep pedaling. Get the heart rate out. Oh, come on. There we go. Very occasionally does that. And it often does it twice in quick succession if it does. Like that. Bloody swift. It's all you can rely on. It's unreliability. All right, come on. Yeah, it does happen sometimes with longer rides, like just twice in quick succession, it's weird. <coughs> but the heart rate was there, so it wasn't an M plus drop, at least on the USB side. Naturally didn't do it in the VO2 segment. A long sort of tempo sweet spot block now.
Oh, look at that blue coming up. I made that coming up halfway. section I think. Sneak a bar in here in a few minutes' time. Yeah, easier <laughs> top zone too, but yeah. We'll take it. And so you're learning to recover at mid zone three. On this ride, in the main, All righty, two hours up, halfway through. Legs definitely. Felt well, a bit stunted after the mule, but that was expected given the lack of above threshold work I've done lately. See how they can recover. As you'd expect, the harder two hours coming up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, Dex. Thanks, mate. What are you up to today, Dirks? I know you were talking about a three-hour ride. I think this will be like the main respite before the uh, final two hours, basically. Need it. Oh, okay, Marco. That's cool. Good stuff. Feeling the saddle of time a little bit now, having spent a good number in it this week over 15 hours certainly for exactly what it's been still plenty of chances to get out of it when it gets spiky later hey dad how you doing join us at the slight lull at the halfway period which is much required Yeah, good stuff, Marco. I think a lot of people choose Sunday for their long zone two rides. I know I normally do. Quite well, sunny here now. Oh yeah, hope all's going well out there, Dad. It's April's birthday in a week's time, yeah? <laughs> Sent the card last year, but I don't think it ever arrived with the <laughs> issues they had. So, no resort to a WhatsApp message this year. <laughs> or an e-card. <sighs> oh. Little sore on the saddle there. Well, yeah, yeah, the little stuff. This week's time is over. It's cool. Come on, Erg. Change gears for you. Work for me. <laughs> yeah. So they have one bottle of beta fuel, a pack of biscuits, two naked bars on top of the oats beforehand. We've got the second beaker of beta fuel on deck. 
alongside water and some hydration tablets. And we've got two cliff bars available. Which will just, we may have to rely more on liquid carbs in the second half as it starts to get more spiky after this little lull. That's why I've been mostly taking on solid food in the first half, which is slightly less intense. Less intense, he says, remembering the Muir van Herresbergen. <laughs> Careful not to have too much in the way of cafe legs coming out of this segment. Time for a fresh handkerchief. Things I treat myself with. Definitely a funny old workout, you know, it, and shows more how pro races do run. You know, you, you do spend a lot of time with the ability to recover, but when it does go hard, it goes hard. And there are segments that, certainly on these one-day races, that are more just sweet spot threshold, as though headwind segments and attacks get responded to. Breakaways, try and stay away, and that sort of thing, you know. Oh, sounds lovely, Laura. Enjoy. I may get you to make me a double espresso, actually, if you don't mind. While well, you're down, double espresso and a splash of maple syrup. Top up. Got the caffeine. As we uh, approach the next climb. I am thick and fast now. Thanks, Laura. At the moment, I must admit, Saddle soreness is the biggest enemy, <laughs> which can be a thing when you do a lot of long indoor intervals. I will have a good 48 hours off the bike after this. Obviously, when you're doing like a lot of sweet spot, you're often staying in the same position for a long period of time and not standing to kind of replicate that, you know, strong aero position on the road. The downside is, is that can get a bit tender. 
So I'm sure my backside would have shaked a couple of days off. Oh, that sun coming out. How bright I've got. <laughs> Got your plans for the rest of the day, Dad. Now you've done some work and chat to Malaysia. What's on the cards? Quite nice out over here. Okay, approaching the Canary Bird. Hill 10. Yeah, yeah this is we're into, I think, hour 16 on the bike this week. And that's with two rest days. Off the bike entirely. Oh, nice. Busy day, then. Good. Say hello to Margaret from me. <laughs> I'm sure you'll tell her all the news anyway. Yeah, the sweet spot feels just a little bit less sweet now. Two and a quarter hours in. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Oh, fair enough, thank you. Let's get that settled for this bit. Give the backside a rest. Pretty fascinating watching the heart rate response early compared to late on, you know. Be interesting to see how, if anything, the recovery diminishes as we get through the workout. As long as we hydrate, fuel, we give you the best chance of recovery. So after this, it'll be the old requirement for the second time out of three. It's always strong, the third time being the strongest. And the first attempt of the Batterberg and the Koppenberg. Yeah, good thinking, good message, Phil. That stage where I'm not too bothered about solid food, but I think I will try and get one more bar in before we start sipping the beta fuel. Oh, Needed that out of the saddle segment. That's for sure. All right. 
See if we can tackle half a bit bar. Ten climbs down. Thanks for all the ride on guys. Appreciate it. It's empty. I'm moving. I'm playing water in that one. Thank you. Bit of caffeine. Second ascent of the Oda Quamont looms at the bottom. Looks like it might be a running actually. Not long enough for the quiet one yet. You need the rapids. Oh yeah.
into the pro sitting on the espresso. Halfway through it to a fast, do you? Caffeine gels, though, I'm sure. Make no mistake, the last 90 minutes is pretty hellish. It's advertised in the description I give at the beginning. For a rider like me anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Tour of Flandes Cafe Rider Edition. Favorite mug. Use a lot when I'm working, speaking of clients. Put your necks down, Laura. Would you mind opening the conservatory door? It's just heating up a bit in here now with the sun coming out. Fans just blowing around hot air. Or maybe that's me talking too much. Approaching Horton. Yeah, I think that's another cobbled section. Yeah, no worries, Laura, just when you're ready. We're between hill 10 and 11 currently. Well, that's 300 segments completed. <laughs> anyway, I've done a 300 segment workout. <laughs> ah, it's silly. It is fun. Only 280 to 300 stars gained, most of those lost, on the silly low power segments when it asked me to hold 30 watts. Not that hard to do. That's correct. 480 in the workout, Agnes. Another little named flat cobble section. 
Do a bit of tempo. Oh, nice, Laura. Why not, indeed? <laughs> what are you thinking of today? Coming up on the last hour and a half. Yeah, it's sunny here, but not as warm as it has been. Yeah, indeed, Laura. Keep those burgers in mind. Rose will be on the road now. <clears throat> I think the other quirk one is now that section at the bottom. The second descent of it. Yeah. Definitely not as warm as it has been. We were spoiled. We just take it when it comes. Like the next climb is one that certainly builds a sweet spot into you know, two max at the end when it gets steeper or as people attack. Doors open, it'll start creating more of a cross breeze. Hey Michael, how you doing? Hope you're having a good Easter Sunday. Ah, oh, lovely. Perfect. Nice day for it. Yeah, just in time for suffering up the Oda Quermont the second time.
lieu of the door being open yet, I may to the robe. Thought I was bright with the sun out with my top on. Now <laughs> when it comes off, <laughs> it's a joke. Thanks. Good timing. I see the segment coming up. Here we go. Where am I on take two? Build into this line. There's a massive description down below the video, Michael. Save me explaining. No worries. I can answer any questions once we're off this climb. Nice to say, still have an this day.
No, it's like this. I thought I guess. I like numbers, playing around with things. So it's a good old test. <coughs> yeah. See at the bottom we got 30 seconds at one watt. <laughs> Freewheeling off the uh that's a bloke by the way. Oh second so quite a month done. One quite a month to go. Atterberg approaches very quickly after the quiet one. I believe. All right, Michael. seconds of digging in to come. We'll zone five and six. trying to keep that balance of the stomach being happy whilst fueling as much as I can. Washing down every sip of carbs with just pure water. Trying not to fill the stomach with too much fluid that it shakes around too much. All right. First time by the Patterberg. Dig in.
Tough coming so close after the clam one. <sighs> one watch. <laughs> the one watt 30 second segment for fairly obvious reasons thank you and a shower oh, about an hour and a quarter to go guys Getting somewhere. Great. Manage a bit of solid food here.
That cotton bird looks a bit brutal. I'm half tempted to knock it down a couple of points. Given we've got an hour to go still. Whew. May do that. This three percent still looks brutal, but just a smidge. Ten watts off may make all the difference later. Not feeling bad in myself, but definitely feeling the outer saddle efforts a bit more now. The repeated punches. Gives us 2% to play with the rest of the ride too. I almost started the ride at 90%, so to have done over two thirds of it at 95% is already beyond my expectations, that's for sure.
to the support, guys. That was grippy. Just over the hour to go. Five more name climbs, I think. I think we're getting some training stimulus. <laughs> JJ Jones. Brooklyn Steenbuck Steenbuck Dries. Flemish is not what well, it could be. So it's the next 40 odd minutes that are the real killer bit. Then you get a little cruise before the finish. After the Petterberg for the second time. Who the hell put that 415 segment there? at the time Berg start. Woo. It's the zone six stuff that really kills me now. How do you think? No surprise there. Thanks for that.
Into the last hour. Thinking of a warm bath already. <laughs> Tyneberg Roots. First 30 seconds out of the way this climb, then hang on.
15 climbs done. Stick on liquid carbs now. Not going to get the benefit of any solids now for a bit. About a third of beats of your left. By the time that's absorbed, should get us through, hopefully. Thanks, Claire. So that's two beats of fuels, about 750. Cliff bar, 275. Couple of naked bars, 150 each, 300, 1300, and the biscuits, about 1450, uh, 1450, maybe 1500 calories, take on the bike, 750, hour and a half before the ride, in my oats, that's about 2250 in the day so far. It's just so important when you're backing up. Big days after big days. Yesterday was a 3,000 calorie burn day as well, so. You can afford to get behind one day. Good enough if you're doing back to back. 3,000, you know, kilocals of work. So in the gut and the refueling strategy just as important as the actual legs and aerobic training I think Little breather. Oh, I actually see a 30 seconds of zero watts coming up. A genuine free will segment. <laughs> well, I can't actually free will because the workout will stop. <laughs> but I'll go down easy. So Kreuzberg, Oda Quamot, third time, Atterberg, second time. I thought there was 19, but I'm sure might be sneaking down below. We'll see. Feeling it, we're surviving at the moment, I think is the summary. But those climbs are gonna be something else. As you get closer to the end, of course, the climbs get raced with more vigor. And that's where the pros make their money. This guy for one year, yeah, not oh, quite. Thanks, Charlie. Doing what we can.
to get to her friends, there's updates from GCN. Buzzing my watch. How have you been doing this guy? What have you been up to? Much of the same. If it's like most of us. We uh, go out a little bit further afield this week. I took the bike a bit further on Wednesday, that was nice. First time that's happened in some time. Six, six, six meters climbed. Devil's own climbing. <sighs> Pretty flat course, of course. The route Grand Vitesse in Francia. <sighs> 45 minutes to go. And it's hero what segment. Roysberg looming. I'm 16. <laughs> One that gets steeper towards the end, or at least race a little more, and build into it. It's tough, but real gains are made from a training perspective. Doing this sort of work with fatiguing legs.
Okay, my tempo feels tough now. Quiet now. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Agnes and everyone. Appreciate the support on this interesting effort. Certainly a different stimulus to normal intervals.
I think we're all fueled up. Eau de Guaymont next for the third finals. That'll be a killer. TV to shut down if you don't mind. TV's like, I've been on for four hours, you know, nothing. I'm gonna turn off. No, please don't. Appreciate it's been a long day for you as well, TV, but let's keep it in perspective. <sighs> 35 minutes to go. Yeah, to be honest, I'm thinking of a pee at the moment, Laura. <laughs> That'll be the first reward. It means I've hydrated enough, at least. But yeah, that's always a treat. So sometimes when you come from that low zone one, even getting back into zone two, you're like, oh, hip flexor suddenly have to wake up and you go, oh. <laughs> so even though it's not a hard zone, it's still quite a big leap. <laughs> Just after spinning and doing nothing for a while, it's waking the legs up again, you know. Definitely a bit of heart rate drift now. start of the third ascent of Quiamon just down below. Think. Yes. It's tasty. We've got 2% to play with if we need to. <laughs> Legs are feeling pretty second hand now. Tried to leave a couple of us in for the last half hour. Which we've done. <sighs> that last ascent of the Quare Monarch then Pattenberg is brutal. If I remember correctly. Even on 10% less intensity.
You get a second, Laura. Could you pop down and override the fan? I don't want it based on heart rate anymore. I just want full beans when we get to the Quagmont in a couple of minutes. That'd be cool if you don't mind. Let me see if I can actually do it via the app first. It may connect. Let me see. If it connects, I can override it myself, but hasn't been responding to that in late. Let's see. Because the heart rate is obviously a little bit capped now with fatigue. So it's not going to get to the high levels that puts the fan on full power. Yeah, it's not connecting. You don't mind. Oh, hang on. Turn the light. No, we're okay, Laura. We're okay. We're okay. I think. Oh, maybe. No, it's just completely turned off. What? Okay, I'm going to need you now because the fan's completely turned off. <laughs> I'm going to need you urgently now. Oh, God. Tried to ramp it up, it's completely turned off. We do not need that in our life. Yeah, desperation stakes now, Laura. Need fan now. <laughs> yeah, come down. Come down. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 90 percent bias. Yeah, it turned off completely. Turn it on then. Turn it on first, and then four beans. Yeah. Thank you. What? <laughs> Almost disaster. So we approach one of the toughest lines. An ultimate climb. Uh, it looks grippy. Put down the last 2%, so we try and finish on 90% difficulty. Which I will take if we do. Three and a half, four minute effort. Not too much of our threshold, but that zone six bit in the second 30 seconds. That's going to be fun. Oh yeah, and then of course, we start to see the Pattenberg straight away afterwards. <laughs> well, this is the grippy bit now, guys. This is where we really have to dig in.
almost like this. Thank you. Have a acceleration. Come on. today. Really appreciate it. Seconds of hell coming up. You can do anything for a minute and a half, right? Sometimes even twice. Twenty minutes to go. Thanks, Agnes. Appreciate the support. I'll be off in 20 minutes. Thank you so much. All right, a little descent before climb again. Bumpy. Second time at Paderberg. Grippy. Oh, that's been quad burn. 
I'm not a punch as it is, and I only three and a half hours. Woo. Almost take taste the protein shake coming up in 20 minutes or so. Bit of those blueberries, bit of protein powder, banana, bit of almond milk. Yes, please. So I think. It's the flattest run into the finish. And then a finishing sprint of sorts. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Sweaty off. So, we basically ran about 70% of this workout on 95% difficulty, which is my plan from the start. We then dropped it down to 92 for about the next 45 minutes, and then to 90 the minimum for the last 25 minutes, which I think was sensible. It keeps it to a level where my legs aren't going to explode and hopefully from a TSS perspective puts it in the range where it's just a bit more manageable. If I'd done the full 100%, 280 TSS after 820 so far, would have put me at 1100, which although doable, is slightly too much going into week three of a three week build phase. So I think it's not only sensible for my ability to complete the workout, but also for my next week, which is good. It's only part of a plan, you know. Not like it's an actual race. But coming into this workout with minus 25 form for a big week, I am pleased to have got anywhere near it, to be honest. That's really pleasing. Some good training been done here today. The first time doing anything in zone five or six for properly for some time.
but even just getting a little flavor of what the pros are gonna go through today. And this is like I say, the last four hours only of about six and a half on what is an average of about 93% of what they're doing. Something else, isn't it? It just shows you that the punchy riders, the ones who are able to repeatedly put out what's effectively sub five minute efforts. And that, that, I think the Oda Quermont, possibly the Mule van Hellersbergen, were the longest intervals, which were around the four and a half minute mark. But it's the repetition and how quickly, particularly things like the Paterberg, comes after the Oda Quermont, which really defines, I think, those types of riders. Their ability on the route from Antwerp to Odenard for the first two and a half hours to save as much as possible, assuming not an early breakaway, fuel for what's to come before doing this four hour effort is incredible and a real skill, in my opinion. But what a fun experiment, I'll say. I'm pleased with my fueling, to be honest. I've not actually felt low energy at any point. It's all a bit about the legs. So, that's pleasing. And again, another good challenge of it. Shame we were couldn't finish it ten minutes sooner and actually finish on the marina front here at the manor. <laughs> I think the last two intervals are actually just recovery technically I put in there. Just so it didn't just die straight away, but I think the penultimate or third to last interval is notionally a 30 second effort, which is a sprint. Sprinting for what is 11th. There's a lot of an asset achieved in the 2018 edition. <sighs> it's actually ready to be low mileage week for me, because I went out a couple of times. Just under my Normal 500 cars on Swift a week target. That'll get pushed down a bit now. Now we're out of winter. But I say that, there's some snow forecast at one point next week, but I think that's moved on. A couple more little spikes before that. Hey, thanks, Daniel. Yeah, we're. Uh, it's been fun, a lot of time too fun. A bit more fun now we're approaching the end. We've got another little dig to go yet by the look of it before the finish line. We had to peg it back a few percent, but I'm more than happy with that. No bricks tomorrow really, and that's a recovery day. If I don't move all day tomorrow, that would be a bad thing. <laughs> Laura may disagree with that. <sighs> yeah, I think we have a little bit of one minute there just to position ourselves for the sprint and then the sprint itself. <sighs> Definitely the quads in the IT band are feeling now. The hip flex has been pretty good. I think the Large amounts of tempo and sweet spot, long intervals, doing lately have really helped with that. Solid position on the bike. The ability to grind it out. I think 
naturally will uh, turn off Erg for the last effort to see what we have. <laughs> Might make it a not a 30 second effort, but a 20 second. Yes, he says 30 seconds to 400, but I'm pretty sure from remembering the numbers, it was 20 seconds at like 250 and then a 10 second sprint. So we'll try and disable a lurk for that and see if we have anything left to finish in a flourish <laughs> or a pool of tears. Yeah, there's that 30 seconds, zero. Past the finish line. <laughs> Key is to keep refueling and hydrating long after this workout too. Although we've been pretty on top of it and probably consumed a good three liters of fluid. Need to keep it up over the course of the afternoon. Enjoy some good vegan junk food for a change. Very rarely eat something like that, but, and it's not even gonna be that junky. <laughs> but our representation of vegan junk food, very rarely going for sort of fake vegan cheese and that sort of thing, but today we're treating ourselves this afternoon. Why not? It's been a big week. And it's a celebration this afternoon of what the best cyclists in the world are capable of doing. If I get time tomorrow with my legs up, I may consider trying to make a bit of a highlights video of this for those that A, haven't been able to be here, and B, have no interest in watching for four hours, which is entirely understandable. And I can put it in a bit more context covering how I created the workout, where it sits in my training, and uh, perhaps even what's coming next. But now I have developed a little bit of a process for this. It's certainly something I can see myself doing again later in the year for a different event perhaps. But uh, I may, uh, position it slightly more reasonably in the schedule and plan around it more. Not to say today's been bad by any stretch, but it definitely has to be pegged back a few percent because of where it's at in the training cycle. Right. So it looks like we got a minute to jockey for position amongst our just outside top 10 compatriots before we try and unleash beans at the end. Might be one bean, a butter bean. <laughs> Not a full bloody black bean, with all the iron. All right, positioning, getting the right place in the group. Oh, that's a big gear. <laughs> Settle down. To get the shoulders out of the way. This is my space on the road. <laughs> you shall not pass. for a minute. Erg off. Erg mode is disengaged. Just 
So we're not going to go for 30 seconds. We're going to jockey the position and then try to see what we have left for the last 10 seconds. Approaching the finish. Yeah. We're going to go for 20 seconds of getting ready and 10 seconds of mediocrity in the sprint edge because that's actually what Nassen did. It's just average over 30 seconds here. Welcome back though. Hope you enjoyed the beach. All right, jockey, get in position for the sprint. Hold it, hold your nerve. Let go. And that, my friends, is that. Uh, I think I need 700 watts. <laughs> Not bad after that. Tour of Planet Simulation complete. 95% intensity for the first two and three quarter hours. Peck back to 92 for 45 minutes and 90% for the last half hour. But I will take that. Yeah, my hips didn't enjoy the last two efforts. And there we are. Let's just have a little cool down and chat, shall we? Because that was, uh, that was epic. I actually enjoyed that. The efforts, not so much, but look at that crap. <laughs> That's silly. Now, let's see if I can actually remove some of these things here so we can actually see that. Or it's a bit. It'll probably it's a bit before I get a chance, unfortunately. We'll get up in a bit. Right, one sec. I think if I do end right, then bring it back. Yeah, <laughs> seven, eight, eight, five seconds. That's a bit silly. Yeah, I don't want to do that because it doesn't do it. If I back it up, then go again. There we go. So technically 455 stars out of 480. And most of the stars we didn't get were on low power segments. <laughs> or I couldn't hit zero watts or anything below. 50 really. So there we go. Yeah, thank you, Laura. Appreciate that. So yeah, 241 CSS, having knocked it down a few percent, obviously that makes a difference because of the square relationship when about threshold. I think that's adequate for today. I really wanted to actually stay connected the whole way, but I don't think I've ever seen such a spiky uh, heart rate. <laughs> it's mental. Uh, let's still allow ourselves a little bit. I'd say the average, 220 or four hours, I mean, not bad. That's kind of mid to upper zone two, but it doesn't tell the story, of course. You know, I often do 205 to 210 on a four hour zone two ride, but that would generate about 165 TSS. The same average power here generated 241, so shows you how the spikiness is the, the real factor. Solid day though, a solid week, so I'm pleased. Thanks for appreciating the spin out now. So if anyone is uh, 
interested, they can check out the workout file below in the description. Details of how I created it. And uh, yeah, we may end up doing some similar simulations of pro rides again in the future. But not for a while, that's for sure. Make sure I screenshot that. Just go for one more minute, cool down, and then we are done. And that is a uh, right now with that stuff. Very white. I mean, I'm pretty bad anyway, but <laughs> that sun coming through the observatory roof now. Nothing else. Alrighty, that will do. Four hours, five minutes in total. Thank you so much to those that have been here for any part of today. It's been a lot of fun. I'm now going to rest. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Enjoy the Tour of Flanders if you are watching it. And until next time, take care.